The F-101 Voodoo is commonly regarded as a stepping stone aircraft, an important increment in the development along the way from the earliest fighters to more enduring modern fighters like the F-4 Phantom II. A member of the Century series, the McDonald F-101 Voodoo was a cutting-edge airframe when first flown in 1954. Initially designed as a long-range bomber escort, the F-101 instead served as a nuclear-armed fighter bomber and as a photo reconnaissance aircraft until 1979. While the Voodoo was quickly surpassed, the jet did break a world speed record for jet-powered aircraft when the F-101 hit 1,207 miles per hour in 1957. The F-101 Voodoo, a pivotal fighter jet in the U.S. Air Force, boasts impressive technical specifications. Capable of accommodating up to two crew members, the F-101 Voodoo spans a length of 67 feet 5 inches with a wingspan of 39 feet 8 inches and stands at a height of 18 feet. Its wing area covers 368 square feet with a wing design featuring the NACA 65A007 at the root and a NACA 65A006 at the tip. With an empty weight of 28,495 pounds and a maximum takeoff weight of the 45,665 pounds, the aircraft can take off at a maximum weight of 52,400 pounds. The fuel capacity of the F-101 includes 2,053 gallons internally, expandable with an additional two optional fuel tanks of 450 U.S. gallons each. The F-101 Voodoo is equipped with two Pratt & Whitney J-57 P-55 turbojet engines, each capable of producing 11,990 pounds of thrust in dry thrust and up to 16,900 pounds of thrust in an afterburner. With its impressive performance, the F-101 Voodoo achieves a maximum speed of 1,134 miles per hour at an altitude of 35,000 feet and is capable of reaching Mach 1.72. Its range extends up to 1,520 miles, with a service ceiling of 58,400 feet. The wing loading of the F-101 Voodoo reaches 124 pounds per square foot, and the thrust-to-weight ratio of the aircraft stands at 0.74. As for its substantial armament capabilities, the F-101 can carry four AIM-4 Falcon missiles or two Air-2 Genie nuclear missiles in addition to two AIM-4 Falcon missiles. Additionally, the aircraft is equipped with avionics and the Hughes MG-13 hydraulic control system to enhance operational capabilities and combat performance. The History of the F-101 Voodoo The inception of the F-101 occurred when McDonnell was awarded the contract to build two prototypes, which were designated the XF-88 Voodoo. The prototype, which relied on a Westinghouse XJ-34 WE-13 engine that provided 3,000 pounds of thrust, first flew in October of 1948. Testing indicated that the aircraft handling and range were satisfactory but the top speed was a leisurely 641 miles per hour, simply unacceptable. Accordingly, the second prototype was constructed with afterburners, which added another 600 pounds of thrust. Performance increased with respect to top speed and rate of climb, although the afterburners increased fuel consumption, hence lowering the aircraft's operational range.
However, the ongoing Korean War provided war planners with real-time practical feedback on contemporary aircraft design. The vulnerability of the existing American fighters in the Korean theater caused the U.S. to reconsider its fighter needs. The XF-88 program was put on hold. But in 1951, when the U.S. Air Force requested a new fighter, which demanded specifications that the Korean War dictated, McConnell submitted a larger and more powerful version of their XF-88, which won the contract. The airframe's name was changed to the F-101. Learning from War Experience The new F-101 was notably larger than the XF-88. The new jet carried 300% more fuel and featured the significantly more powerful Pratt & Whitney J-57 turbojet engine. The J-57 was larger than the Westinghouse engine found on the XF-88, so designers had to modify the air intakes to allow for a larger amount of airflow to the bigger engines and to increase the jet's aerodynamic efficiency, reduce weight, and avoid a tendency to pitch up, the F-101 was outfitted with a T-tail, which as the name suggests, features the horizontal stabilizer perched atop the vertical stabilizer to form a T-shape. The Voodoo entered service in 1957 with a max speed of 1,134 miles per hour, a range of 1,520 miles, a service ceiling of 58,400 feet, and a 36,500-foot per minute rate of climb. The F-101 came to be known as the one-off wonder and served for over two decades. The F-101A variant served until 1966 before being phased out in favor of the B variant. The F-101B removed the A variant's four M-39 cannons in favor of four AIM-4 Falcon air-to-air -air missiles. The U.S. produced 479 F-101Bs, making it the most numerous Voodoo variant ever produced. The RF-101C was a reconnaissance variant that used six cameras in place of radar and cannons while retaining the bombing ability of earlier variants. The only export customer for the jet was Canada, whose Royal Canadian Air Force operated the CF-101 Voodoo until 1987. 